Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brie again. Thanks again for watching. I just want to come at you guys uh, with a little story time today. I haven't really figured this intro thing out yet. Uh, so, whatever. I'll just start by saying that normally when I go get my twins from school, the uh, director, you know, she's at her desk doing paperwork and stuff like that. So, one day, I went to go get my kids from school and she wasn't at her desk she was actually at the two-year-old room she was at the door and so um i just kind of thought that was kind of weird and you know but i was like okay whatever so she's like hi mom uh we need you to sign something you know i thought nothing of it i'm just like okay you know what is it or whatever she's like you have to sign an incident report so automatically my mind is racing i'm like oh my god Please tell me my babies is okay because you didn't call me. So, they have to be okay because if they weren't, you would call me, right? She hands me the incident report and I'm reading it. So, she's like, yeah, Carter bit Princeton today. And I'm not even going to lie because at first I was worried, you know, like, so I could tell my face was scrunching up. But I'm not even going to lie. When she said Carter bit Princeton, oh, it was the biggest just weight off of my shoulders. It was, it was just a huge sigh of relief. That's why I look weird, because I don't have no mascara on. Oh, well. Anyways, I tried to not show how relieved I was, because I wanted her to understand that I also understood that, you know, that's not appropriate behavior. Whether they're brothers or not, that's not appropriate behavior for school. You know, because we wouldn't want Carter to bite somebody else. Two-year-olds are very impressionable, so if one of the other friends were to see Carter biting, you know, they could easily think that biting was okay and start doing it, or Carter could bite somebody else. So it's definitely something, you know, we wanted to tackle um, immediately. So I signed the paper, you know, acknowledging that I understood what happened and picked up the voice, you know, and I gave Carter a good talking to us. You don't fight your brother. You don't fight at school. We don't fight, period. But you're definitely not going to be fighting at school. You know, and I feel like he understood where I was coming from. Ten days later, she's at the door again. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm sure, surely, surely it's not my children. Uh, she's like, hey, mom, so yeah, the, the, the teachers were telling me today that they caught Carter kind of lunging at, at some of his friends. And I'm like, okay, so this is no, this isn't good. Like, now he's not only biting his brother at school but now he's lunging at his friends and when i say lunging like they were stopping him from biting his friends so, so at that point that's when we had a serious conversation like i was like carter you're not gonna fight at school you're not gonna bite your friends you're not gonna act this way that's not okay like we had a we had a real good time you know what i mean you know what i mean i'll say it was a good month you know no incidents, no fighting in school, no nothing. I wasn't getting any bad reports about the book. Well, it was about maybe a week ago that I went to go pick them up, and of course, I had to sign another incident report. And at this point, I'm kind of not thinking nothing of it. I'm like, oh, okay, they, you know, my sons got into it with each other again, whatever. You know, like, not whatever, I was going to address the situation, but I wasn't expecting what actually transpired so they're like yeah um carter got into a fight with one of his friends today and at that point i was just kind of just really embarrassed and upset and i know that sounds like really crazy but you know two-year-olds getting into it that's something that you want to tackle because like i said that's these are the impressionable stages so you don't want two-year-olds fighting and then all of a sudden you have nine nine two-year-olds all fighting each other like that's not okay and when i mean when i say fighting i mean like them climbing on top of each other or like you know hitting each other or like snatching a toy away you know pinching each other that's what i mean when i'm saying fighting so I was just, I was embarrassed. I was upset because I know if they would have given me an incident or if they would have let me know like, hey, yeah, this kid hit your kid today, I would be mad. And I would be mad at the parent because I know that it would start with the parenting. So I was upset. I was kind of upset with myself a little bit because I'm like, okay, what could I have done better as a parent to, you know, have stopped 
this from even occurring. I was like, okay, I'm really sorry. You know, I, everything has been good. He's even been better at home. I've really been talking to Carter, so I'm very sorry that this happened. I, I would do my best to make sure that it won't happen again. Of course, you can't say I promise it won't happen again. I'm not there with my kids, you know, for the few hours that they have to be there while I'm at work because I'm at work. So I can't promise that it won't happen again. But like I said, I told her, you know, I'll do my best to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Please, please, please let the parent know that I'm sorry. And they were like, okay, we'll let her know. But then, like, you know, I'm, as I'm signing it, she was like, you know what? We're probably not going to tell the parent anything. And I was kind of like, hey. what? I wanted you to tell that parent, I'm sorry, because you're not telling me what kid it was. If you tell me what kid it was, I would tell the parent myself. But I don't want it to be a situation where I'm going to drop off my kid or sometimes, you know, the kids invite the whole daycare class to a birthday party. And I'd hate that we get invited to a birthday party and that parent knows it was my son who attacked their child, but I don't know what parent it is and then they're mad at me. You know, I, w I don't want that situation. I want them to understand that I'm not out here raising my child to attack children or to, you know, to be that way, to be feisty or to, you know, to be mean and angry. So I was kind of upset when she said, oh, we're not going to tell the parent anything. Because I'm like, no, I want you to tell her something to let her know that my kids aren't like this on a daily basis. And I would not ever want my kids to cause harm to her child. I could tell, like, I can't remember what was said, but I could, I could tell that the reason why she wasn't going to tell the parent sorry was because she was having problems with that parent's child. So it was kind of like... She didn't want to say that the child had it coming, but it was kind of one of those situations where she was like, no, you know, he played his part as well. She'll be signing an incident report as well, you know, but we're not, we're not going to tell her nothing. So I was just kind of like, I don't know. I was still iffy, regardless of if that was the worst kid in the class, I still, as a mom, will want that mom to know that I'm sorry that my son did this because that's not the the way I raised my son to be. Regardless, I don't care if that kid, because I have witnessed, you'll, you'll see later in the story what I'm talking about but um and how I know. But I witnessed this particular child that my son was fighting with climb on top of my other son, Pr Princeton. Like, I witnessed him. I don't want to say be a bully, but I witnessed him, you know, be a bully towards my kids um and so you know of course i stay like i st i didn't want to i don't like to go into the room when i drop my kids off because then they'll get hysterical again and they'll be like mom we supposed to leave with you why are you here and you not taking us so i stayed and i watched from this little viewing window which is like a double what do you call those you know those those police type of windows where you can see in, but the people that are in can't see you looking at them. It was one of those type of windows. And so I was just watching to see how long it was going to take one of the teachers to go, you know, get my son and get that child off of my son before I did intervene. Because like I said, I don't like to go in there after I drop them off because then they think it's time to go. But if I would have had to go in there, I would have gone in there. So it didn't take, but it didn't take them long at all to go get that child. But I, like I was saying... I have witnessed that particular child be a bully to my kids. Regardless of that, even, I as a parent still want that mom to know whatever you got going on at home, that's how you raise your child. But understand, that's not how I raise my children. So I'm sorry for their actions, regardless. And the thing is, you know, you when you extend that olive branch, you know, hopefully it is taken and... It is applied in their everyday lives. So, you know, I was just 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 hoping that, you know, maybe that mom, by seeing that, you know, there's another mom who actually does care about the well-being of any child, regardless of the, in, any incidents, like, maybe that would just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I know me as a mom, no matter what, I'm going to let you know this is not how I raise yeah, that was about a week ago or so that I had to sign that incident report where Cardi was fighting with another kid. I just let him know this is not how you act, young man. This is not how we do. I don't care what that kid is doing to you. And I know that my sons are not even two yet. They'll be two next month. But I still talk to them like people because they are people. And one day, even if you only understand no, don't, and stop, one day you're going to understand the full sentence. So I'm going to say it to you. Regardless. We can only be accountable for our actions. 
So, tell me why. I'm going to pick up my sons and they give away these sheets every day, which is just like a log of, you know, all the times that they went to the restroom and um, the meals that they ate and what they did during the day. So, they give out those sheets every single day. So, I'm getting my sheets from my son's daycare teacher and I'm reading it, you know, I'm going over it because there was this highlighted portion. And normally that means, you know, they need something, whether it be extra clothes, diapers, wipes, whatever. And I, I remember one time I had, like, I didn't read the papers for, like, three days. And they needed diapers that whole entire time. And I didn't know. And so I was actually, praise God, it was one day that I was off of work because I had school, but my, my teacher canceled class. So they called me and were like, yeah, your child has been needing diapers for three days and you haven't brought none. And I was able to go give them some, but that was so embarrassing. So now I, I make it a point to make sure I read it before I leave. Um, so anyway, I'm reading the paper and it was like, yes, we just need to continue to work on the hitting and the fighting with other classmates. You really need to talk with him at home. Um, you know, and it says something along the lines of, like, this needs to be addressed, like, ASAP, you know? And I'm like, what the heck you mean? Continue to work on the fighting? No one, like, what? The way it was written was just, like, as if they had already talked to me about it, and they hadn't, you know, talked to me about anything as far as Princeton and Carter except for the couple of incidents. So I was like, what the heck? Like, I was freaking out. Like, I was like... What are y'all doing at school? Girl... I, I scroll, you know, of course I didn't scroll because it was, it was an actual paper, but I take a gander up to the top to figure out which child they're talking about since I have twins. And it said, blank, 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 blank. basically it said someone else's name other than my son's. And once again, that huge sigh of relief, I was like, oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. I didn't want to have to put my foot up there, but today, thank you, Lord. I was just, just happy that it wasn't my kids acting that way. And um, so that's how I found out what child it was. And after that, a whole bunch of stuff made sense. But yeah, so that's how I found out what kid um, Carter had been fighting with. And that's how I was able to understand that Carter you know, was probably provoked in that situation. And it made more sense as to why they didn't want to apologize to the mother on my behalf because that child has con continued to be a problem child already. So, um, things, after reading that paper, things just, you know, made a whole bunch of sense. But then the very next day, I've never seen this child's mother, right? Never ever seen, no, I take that back. I seen him one time because that child, he always, like, when I go to pick up my kids, he always runs up like he about to come too. I'm like, oh, boy, I didn't have triplets. Now, I, I, I pushed one out, went and had to wait for two hours to push the other one out. I didn't wait two more hours to push another baby out, so I'm sorry, but you cannot come with me. So, you know, one day I had seen him, this was like a long time ago, I had seen him, like, one morning, we just happened to drop our kids off at the same time, and I was like, oh, hey, you know, and I told the mom, I was like, he's always saying, you know, hi to me or whatever. And she kind of was like, mm, and I was just like, okay. So, literally, like, the, the next day or the next couple days after that, I saw her. I don't know if she knew that it was my kids, that her kids, be that her son fights with, but... She just had a stank attitude, super, super duper stank. I don't know, I don't care. I'ma still kill you with tons of kindness and this beautiful smile. <laughs> I'm stupid, but that's how I be doing now. It's like, there's no point in being snobby with you. No, I'ma kill you with some kindness. That's gonna piss you off even more. Have a good day, see you later, bye. Oh, your son, he's so funny. Like, that type of thing. Like, I'm gonna kill you with all sorts of kindness. I love the 22-year-old Brie. I really do love her. I don't know how the teacher ended up handing me that paper, but maybe it was just, like, a blessing in disguise, you know? It took a lot of relief off of me to know that my sons aren't causing the problem. They're probably just reacting to it. You feel me? So, yeah. That's my story time.